Uh, greetings, math fans. All right, so this is chapter nine, um, new chapter, and um, it's a quite a few to different topics here. Um, there's a lot of so solving for x. So we're going to do some cross multiplying. We're going to learn about percentages. Um, we're going to learn about just some pie charts and uh, also um, proportions and ratios. Okay. So some of the stuff is actually going to be kind of interesting, um, but uh, as I as I always tell you guys, right, uh, this stuff is all on the final exam. So if you know how to do the stuff, and if you notice here, it says final exam right here. I highlighted here, right, final exam, four out of forty three questions. So this just this worksheet, you'll know how to do four out of the forty three questions. Okay, so you guys know how I work, how I operate here, right? Uh, as long as you know the stuff you'll be good to go for the final exam. Obviously it's on the test, but it's also on the final exam. So let's kind of get started. You might've seen this already in Algebra 1, um, but if you don't, or if you don't remember, um, you're gonna see it again, or you'll learn for the first time, okay? So basically what you're doing here, when it says, when you're given a fraction like this, you're gonna cross multiply, and cross multiply just means when there's an equal two sign in between, you have uh, three times x, which is three x, and 11 times two, which is 22. Okay, you're gonna use your calculator to figure all that out. Okay, sometimes there's a little glitchy here with my videos, but I'll do the best I can. Okay, so it's 22. And anyway, um, that's all you do. You just literally are multiplying the corners together. And then your last step, you guys all know how to do this. You divide by three. And guys, you can leave it as a fraction, that's fine. Like, let's say for example, in the final exam, they do ask you for a decimal, which I don't believe they do. You can just put it in your calculator, 22 divided by three and uh, you would get 7.3, okay? So you can do it either way. But what I'm looking for is, it even says here, leave in fraction form, okay? It's that easy. So like this next one. So basically three times X is three X, and four times five is 20, okay? And then I divide this one by three, and you get X equals 20 thirds. And you can, leave, again, leave it like that. And that's your final answer. Okay, so if you notice, this is uh, worksheet one. The way I kind of designed this chapter, guys, is we are going to do like half the problems together. So I'm not going to give you a lot of problems for homework. I'm going to give you basically six problems to work on. Okay, uh, so I'm going to do one through six with you, and then you're going to do seven through 12. Now, here's the deal. Um, I'll actually do... The pro do all the problems, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to just listen to me doing one through six and then stop the video and do seven through 12 on your own, okay? I have to expect that you guys will do that because if you just like copy my work and don't do that, you're not really gonna learn anything. So anyway, you can scroll through to look at my answers as you go through, okay? Or you can keep it running, but um, I'll go through it a lot faster because you guys should be doing it, but I'll still explain what I'm doing. Um, but hopefully, uh, you know, you're doing your homework and then you can check it just to make sure you got the right answer. Okay. But you got to keep up with the stuff. Okay. So let's keep going here. Uh, again, I'm going to do three times X. So it's again cross multiplying. So three X equals, and again, put this in your calculator. It's seven times four. So seven times four is 28. Put in your calculator. So you get three X equals 28 and then divide both sides by three. So X equals 28 thirds. Okay, pretty easy. Um, doesn't matter where the X is, you still cross multiply. So it's seven times X is seven X and six times five is 30. Divide both sides by seven, X is 30 sevenths. Okay, same thing, five times X, three times six is 18, divide by five. So X is 18 fifths. Okay, and then the last one, five times X is five X, nine times four is 36. Divide both sides by five, X is 36 fifths. That's all you do. That's pretty easy. This is gonna take you just a few minutes to do this assignment, guys. But at least this, we gotta cover one topic per day, okay? So at least this uh, hopefully will help you. All right, so the rest of these you guys should do on your own. You should try them. Turn the video off, okay? and uh, and try it and if you want to what i'll do is um i'll do the problems i'll work them all and then what i'll do is at the end i'll kind of just if you go to the end of the video just scroll to the end what i'll do is i'll kind of like try to show as much as i can so you can see all the answers in one shot 
or maybe just I'll scroll a little bit, but at least you can check it, okay? All right, so we're gonna have nine X is equal to four times three is 12 and divided by nine. So X equals 12 ninths. Now you could simplify this, but I'm not asking you guys to simplify, just leave it as 12 ninths, it's fine. Okay, so this is two X equals nine times 11 is 99. Divide by two, so x is 99 over two. Uh, five times x is five x, four times two is eight. Divide by five, x equals eight fifths. Uh, four times x is four x, 11 times seven is 77. Divide by four, x is 77 fourths. Okay, and two times x is two x, three times five is 15. Divide by two, x is 15 halves. And five times x is five x, seven times eight is 56. Divide by five, you get x equals 56 fifths. Okay, so anyway, that's it math fans. That's a pretty short lesson, um, but uh, that's all you need to do for cross multiplying. Have an outstanding day. Adios math fans, goodbye.